In the previous lectures, uh, we've been discussing on uh, Judas Iscariot. Okay? I consider those issues very uh, important to all of us since uh, many so-called Christians are raising questions on these issues. So now I'm pretty sure that uh, you are now in the position where you can answer all those questions uh, regarding the Judas Iscariot issues. Okay, now starting today, we will discuss some of the key questions that I consider very uh, interesting, not only that significant uh, to all Christians, because the questions that I'm going to dealing with will be the common, very common questions among the Christians regarding uh, Satan, Satan uh, subject, okay? Since we are now still in the series of Satan, okay? So I will continue uh, with those questions for two weeks with at least eight questions, okay? Today's we will be dealing four questions. Now here, lecture 21 will be the first question on this issue. Okay? Now, here, did God foreknow the fall of Lucifer? That's the question. Everybody asking question, including myself and yourself. Okay? In other words, foreknow means it's a foreknew. Okay? That means, did he know before the fall of Adam that he would who he would fall. Is it his design? Okay. Uh, is that just uh, because of the Lucifer's failure? Or is it God's design? That is the first question that you and I need to deal with this. It would be Everybody's question, okay? Now, here, with that question, we will raise up this issue. If God did not know the fall of Lucifer, that is the first uh, proposal, okay? That you have, when you teach it, you always say, if our God did not know, it was, uh, you know, Lucifer's, on free will, okay? God did not interfere uh, that incident. Here, then we have problem here. Let me say again, God did not know. Lucifer did it by himself, not by the will of God. Then we have problem here. If God did not know, then we will face with a problem. What problem? What problem we have? God's attribute problem. Okay, in the past we studied 12 attributes of God. Remember? Okay, the one of the attributes that we are going to deal with is the, his attribute of omniscient God. Okay, omniscient God means it's omniscient God. That means what? God has, he knows everything. Okay? So, even Paul and Peter said that our God is omniscient God. If, see, you write down, if our God has intellectual in intellectual limitation 
if our God has intellectual limitation, that means he knows something, he knows everything, but with an exception of few, okay? He only knows, say, 90%, but 10% he would not know. Then that's intellectual limitation, okay? Then we have problem with our God. You always say that. Explain to your people, okay? We have problem. Why? We believe we, on, we believe our God should be omniscient God. In other words, he must know 100% of all creatures, past history, present history, even future history. Okay? If our God does not have that power, intellectual power, then he will not be our God. That's the issue. In other words, I will not serve him as our God. Would you write that down? If he has certain limitations in his knowledge, then I will not serve our God as a God. Therefore, our God must possess 100% intellectual capacity, knowing everything. Based on that, I commit my life to serve him. Okay? Based on that. That's a very important issue. Often, many people, Christians, so-called, limit our God's intellectual capacity, adding, adding with his own, Christian's own intellectual uh, knowledge. So in other words, my intellectual knowledge plus God's intellectual knowledge, that's not 100% God's knowledge, okay, that we ought to trust 100%. Those so-called liberal Christians and, you know, religious pluralistic Christians respecting God plus human responsibility, okay, human knowledge. So they're always adding human knowledge plus God's knowledge. So we, we evangelicals do not follow that teachings. We, we accept 100% God's knowledge, not adding any human effort. That is our basis of, of our faith in the Lord Jesus. Amen? Now, here, with that, here, Paul said in here, Romans 8.29, he said, God foreknew you and me before even your birth in your mother's womb. So now, we, this is a very difficult issue. Okay? With our intellectual reasoning, we cannot accept this. But Paul accepted this. He accepted that. Okay? Before you were formed in your mother's womb, you see, Jeremiah... One five. In Jeremiah one five, Jeremiah was told by Jehovah God, Jesus, that Jehovah God said to Jeremiah, "I foreknew you before you were 
formed in your mother's womb. Isn't it? So, you see, unintellectual, sometimes it's not scientific. It's beyond our intellectual capacity. You and me were known to God before formed in our mother's womb. Okay? That shows omniscient, omniscience of God's attribute. So our God foreknew you and me before we were formed in our mother's womb. Based on that, we trust, we worship our God. Okay? Accepting our limitations, our creatureship. Okay? We are not a creator. God created me and you, and he foreknew us before we were formed in our mother's womb. That notion is a very important notion, okay, as a Christian, okay, here. Paul expressed that in Romans 8.29. Also, Peter expressed it. First Peter 1 Peter 1.2. Even David, he said that God's understanding is infinite. Infinite means it's eternal. Eternal. So his intellectual capacity is not limited to any particular time. Okay? Okay? Now, infinite. So his knowledge is eternal. Psalm 144, 5. Now, therefore, Jesus said this. Jesus said, I. Jesus said, I. Even the very hairs of our head are all counted. In other words, he, he knows how many hairs in your head 30 years old human Jesus expressed that. Okay? That's Matthew 10, 30. Is it possible for us to count how many hairs in our okay, head? No, impossible. But Jesus said, he expressed his, you know, infinite knowledge, okay, in this way. I know how many hairs in your head. Matthew 10.30 Therefore, therefore, he knows past, he knows present, he knows future of all creatures. With that notions along with all these informations, we can come to a conclusion that the fall of Lucifer was pre-known to our God. Not just happened by chance. It was a pre-designed our infinite God. That is our conclusion. Okay? So you should be able to answer to that question. Did God foreknow the fall of Lucifer? Then you will say, yes, he foreknew. It's, can you explain this to your people? I hope so. I pray for that. For those who are studying, Please memorize all this for the glory of God.
out of your life and out of your teachings. In Jesus' name, amen.